Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're trying to figure out which commander from March of the Machine is best in CEDH. This video was brought to you by our sponsor, Dragon Shield. Check out the affiliate link down below to help support the channel. So we have Yargle and Multani, a Golgari Silvala ripoff that draws a lot of cards and then discards them with Witherbloom and Chain of Smog. Nate's on Croxa Kuranos, a Mardu Adnaz list that has a one card win con with Altar of Dementia. Tyler's on Borg Berigmos and Fibblefip, a team of food chain deck that wins games. And Cam's on Thali and the Gitrog monster, an Abzan stack list that sacrifices Protean Hulk for the win. Begin! At least I can put this Genstone Caverns on the bottom of my library since I'm going first and mulliganing to six. That's fun. Let's play a game. I'll start us off. Draw a card. Misty Rainforest. Crack it. I'll find Bayou, and I will cast Mana Vault. That's it, I'll pass my turn. All right, draw for turn. Vault of Champions, and then Esper Sentinel. Go. I will draw for turn, play a Scalding Tarn, crack the Scalding Tarn, go get a Tropical Island, and cast a Finhuenos, and say go. I will get a draw. City of Brass. I'm going to cast a Chrome Mox. May I draw a card? Yes. Unbelievable. Nah, there's, you'll see, you'll see. I'm going to put this Bloom Tender underneath it, and then I'm going to pay a life to cast an Aether Swan Cannabis. I can't believe you've done this. I will pass the turn. I will untap and draw a card. Overgrown Tomb into play, untapped, going down to 37, and I'm going to cast Arcane Signet. May I draw a card? You can draw a card. Oh, what? Oh, uh, I can't <laughs> believe you've done this. Oh. <laughs> That's it, pass turn. Untap. Okay, good draw. Spectator seating. I will cast Grim Monolith. Pass the turn. Does it feel like Nate's crowding the plate a little bit? He's, he's very <laughs> leaning forward. I can't yeah. even see what lands he's playing. El elbows off the table, mister. Untap draw. I'm going to play a Steam Fence untapped, losing two life. Cast an Arcane Signet. May I draw a card? Absolutely fucking not. I'll pass the turn. All right, I'll draw. Undergrowth Stadium. I will pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw card. Tap for three, four, five, six. Cast Yargle and Multani. The tree frog is here. Pass turn. <laughs> Untap. I'll keep, I will draw. Play a command tower for my land for turn. Play a monk. So I don't pass. Untap. Draw for turn. Cast a regrowth. Targeting Scalding Tarn in my graveyard. May I draw card? You may. Play the Scalding Tarn and I'll pass the turn. Now I'm going to draw for turn. I'll play a planes for turn. I will cast a Thalia and the Gitrog monster. I'm going to respond to it and crack the Scalding Tarn. Tyga. I have no other effects. I will untap. Lose one off of Mana Vault and draw a card. Go to combat. Nate, I'll attack you with an 18-6. Swords Plotter. Art thou fucking joking. Okay, that's fine. It resolves. I'll gain 18. I was really happy to see Yargle not come at me. Well, you got a first striking death touch, so I can't really attack you. I mean, I could attack Tyler, but Nate's the one who's on ad nauseum. It's a shame. The strategy of this deck is pretty cool, but it just... It, it sure does crumple to removal spell. I could have just done the spell that I had in my hand, which is Ruthless Technomancer, but Nate would have been able to respond to that anyway. I chose to attack first to try to get that interaction out of his hand so I don't have to waste the Ruthless Technomancer. At least this way, when you go for Ad Nauseam, it's going to be phenomenal. Yeah, not playing Ad Nauseam in this deck, unfortunately. A lot, oh, of, right. lot of big, fat fucking idiots trying to draw <laughs> cards off of Big Power Boy, so we're not doing anything with that extra life. All right, let's go fucking slow mode, I guess, then. Cast Utopius sprawl targeting my overgrown tomb when it enters i will name black may i draw a card no you may not then that'll be it for me i'll pass my turn one sec upkeep i will draw play gemstone mine i'll play a lotus petal and i'll pass the turn an end step cast intuition targeting nate may i draw a card you sure may nate here is the intuition pile one food chain one squee and one noxious revival yeah you can squee. Food chain, Noxus Revival in the graveyard. Squee in hand. Good to go to my turn. Oh, tap, draw for turn. I'm going to cast Squee. ETB tapped. ETB tapped. Indeed. That's it. I'll pass the turn. Go to mine. I will get a draw. I'm going to cast the Carpet of Flowers. May I draw a card? No, you may not draw a card. I'm going to go to combat. And Nate, I'm going to attack you for four. I get a trigger. I'm going to sacrifice this planes so that I can draw a card. I'll dismember Thalia and the Gitrog monster. Pain for full, yes. Okay, I will pass. In your end step, I'm going to tap for two and cast a crop rotation. As an additional cost, I will sacrifice this bayou and I will use the extra to pay for Esper Sentinel. I'll find Ancient Tomb. Go to my turn, untap. Upkeep, lose life from Mana Vault. Draw a card. I'm gonna cast a Demonic Tutor, losing two life from the Ancient Tomb. I will use the extra to pay for Esper Sentinel. That's it, I'll pass my turn. I'm crop rotating and Demonic Tutoring. It feels like I'm doing a lot. I'm just trying to get enough mana to cast my commander again. That's all I'm trying to do. Upkeep, I will draw. Play my Bloodstained Mire, my land for turn. Crack the Bloodstain. Talisman of Indulgence, and then I'll pass. In your end step, I will pay one green and cast a crop rotation, sacrificing Taiga as additional cost. Probably should have sacrificed at an island, I feel like, right? Mandrel. 
Absolutely fucking not. Nice job, Tyler. You've been really good about the S% percent in all this game. Thank yeah, you. it would be nice if anyone else had been good about the S% percent in all that too. That does sound like that would be nice, doesn't it? Not today, Junior! <laughs> <laughs> I'm finding a Gaius Cradle. That's better than my Ancient Tomb. Not much. <laughs> I'm gonna bolt your Finthorn. Okay, Finthorn else is bolted. Get down tap, and tap. Draw for turn. I'm gonna pay five by exiling an Elvish Spirit Guide from my hand to cast Warburg Mose and Fibblethip. Draw a card, and then I can discard any number of lands, and it deals twice that much damage to target creature. I'm gonna discard an Ancient Tomb and point two damage at Aether Swarm Canonist. Oh, that's sad. Okay. Yeah, I'm really sad. I will then pass the turn. The draw. On my first main phase, I'm going to target Tyler with Carpet of Flowers to make two white mana. Deafening Silence. May I draw a card? Use the other mana off oh, yeah, card. Sorry, Mental misstep targeting Deafening Silence. May I draw a card? Yep. Cool. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's great. I will cast an Archon of Amiria. Fucking aim. <laughs> <laughs> I will pass. I really regret my Demonic Tutor. All right, I'll lose one life on my Mana Vault and draw a card. I bet it was a Jeweled Lotus. You bet your sweet ass it was a Jeweled well, Lotus. now you can pay for the Jeweled Lotus. I will pay for the Jeweled... I will cast Jeweled Lotus and pay for the S percent on trigger. I will pass my turn. All right, cast Ad Nauseam. Passing on Ad Nauseam. Okay, let's do this. You're stopping there. There. On set. Upkeep. Draw. Fiend Hunter. Let's go. Archon. Great. Yep. I don't have anything to say about that. When would be an appropriate time for me to bring up that because I paid for Esper Sentinel, I couldn't leave up my City of Brass for the silence that I had in my hand mm -hmm. and then solely relied on Archon of Emeria. Uh, for some reason, I thought that the extra card was going to matter after he got fed a bunch this game. Cast Mana Crypt. Cast Alter Dementia. Cast Mayhem Devil. I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna tap this Overgrown to make two mana with Utopia Sprawl, and I'm gonna channel Besage you targeting the Altar of Dementia. Well, that was a great time to interact. Okay, so I go get a basic. I'm gonna get a Badlands. I'm gonna play Wooded Foothills for my land for turn. Crack this. Point one damage at Squee. A uh, Plateau. I'll cast Savine's Reclamation. Altar of Dementia. Back to square one. <laughs> Cast Lion's Eye. I'm just going to pass. Nate's in a situation here where his Fiend Hunter is the removal spell on the Archon of Emeria, which is allowing him to cast all these other cards. The problem is Fiend Hunter needs to be in the graveyard, but that puts Archon of Emeria back into play. So he also has to set up a scenario where he can sacrifice three permanents to have the Mayhem Devil deal three damage to the Archon after he's already sacrificed the Fiend Hunter. The problem is his third permanent that can sacrifice is this LED, which will pitch all of the cards in his hand immediately, and now he has no other follow-up. He can cast cards, but he doesn't have cards. I'm going to discard a Talisman of Hierarchy, a Wish Claw Talisman, Watchers, Grand Wilder, Grand Tutor, Necropotence, Defense Grid, Arcane Signet, and Soul Farm. All right, I will untap, draw for turn. Move to combat. Cameron, I'm going to come at you with a 6-5 Burbergmos and Fibbletip. Get your trigger. I sure will. I will draw a card, and then I'm going to choose not to discard any land cards. Cool. I'll take six. Cast a Finale of Devastation for X equals two. May I draw a card? You may. I'm going to go find a Darkseid. One Darkseid Extortionist. Darkseid trigger is on the stack. This might be a, a good time to sacrifice your Fiend Hunter to give me the Archon back. Passing on the dark side trigger. Pass on dark side trigger. I'm gonna sacrifice Fiend Hunter and I'll mill one. So you get your guy back. I have a trigger on the stack. Just your face. May I have 14 treasures? I gotta pass. Go to my turn. Get a draw. Carpet of Flowers is still going to target Tyler. Two white cast a Draneth Magistrate. Fuck. I'll go to combat. Nate, I'll attack you for two in the air. Sack my Lotus for one black. Mayhem Devil trigger one to the Archon. Sack my Esper Sentinel, another to the Archon for Mayhem Devil trigger. No one. I'm going to sacrifice Mayhem Devil. Third damage to the... I'm going to mill three. I'm going to use this black. Vampiric trigger. Any other effects? Any other actions, Cameron? No, I have none actions. I'll go to my turn. This is very sad for me because I was trying to use this Archon to make sure that Tyler can't win the game now that he has 14 treasures. But I do understand where Nate's coming from, where he thinks he can still rely on Dranith Magistrate. This is a nightmare for me because all of my timing is working out miserably against these stacks pieces that Cameron is bringing. Uh, when I tutored for the Jewel Lotus, I should have cast it right away, but I held it just in case something happened. And then the Arcan of Mirror came in. And if I hadn't done that, I would have been able to play the big motherfucker last turn. And now there's a Dranith Magistrate in play, so that I cannot. I am very sad that I'm playing these Dax pieces too, but I don't want any of them to win. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Untap. Lose a life from Meta Vault. Draw a card. Play a Command Tower. And since I can no longer play my commander, I will tap for three and cast Silvala, Heart of the Wilds. Pass my turn. Okay, draw. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Don't you fucking Hold dare. <laughs> 
dead, gone, get out of here. I didn't say. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wanted it to. I wanted to see what. Shut the up, Tyler. You wanted that to happen. <laughs> this is all Dylan's fault. Uh, Fuck that guy. I will untap. Draw for turn. Cameron, I'm gonna attack you with Borborygmus and Fibblethip. I will draw a card on the trigger. I am not discarding any lands. Cast a Mana Vault. Cast an Eternal Scourge. Cast an Overloaded Cyclonic Rift. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm going to pay one for a white mana for a silence. That'll do me. <laughs> Rift on the stack. Yeah, let's bounce. Ooh. Whoa! Pass the turn. Get a draw. I will cast a Carpet of Flowers and then move to my second main. On my second main, I will target Tyler with Carpet of Flowers and make two white. Use one white for an Esper Sentinel. I'll cast a Chrome Mox. I will pitch Eldritch Evolution, I think. And then I'll use that white and this mana for the Draneth Magistrate again. I'll pass. Untap. Lose two with the Ancient Tomb. Make two mana. Cast Mana Vault. May I draw a card? You may. With that one floating, I'll make four total colorless mana. Two of it for an Arcane Signet. Make a green. Cast a Utopia Sprawl on my Overgrown Tomb, naming green. Tap this for two green and cast Silvala, Heart of the Wilds. I should have paid for the Esper Sentinel. I'm going to cast Jeweled Lotus, and then I will cast Imperial Seal. I put a card on top. That's it. I pass my turn. Your end step. Cast a lightning bolt targeting Draneth Magistrate. Mm, may I draw a card? Absolutely not. No response to that. Okay, I think we're going to die. Untap. Lose one, two, mana vault at the beginning of my draw phase. Draw a card. Tap Gaia's Cradle for three green. Cast an Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Darkside Extortionist as an additional cost. May I draw a card? No, I will pay so that you may not. Eldritch Evolution is going to find me an Eternal Witness, which I am very grateful that I included. Eternal Witness ETB is going to target Food Chain. Retrieve this Food Chain and put it in my hand. Cast Food Chain. I will exile Eternal Scourge to Food Chain, making four creature-only mana, and then I will recast Eternal Scourge for three of that mana. This is an infinite mana loop. Uh, we now have infinite creature mana. I will start exiling Borborygmus and Fibblethip and then recasting it, taking advantage of his trigger each time to draw essentially my entire deck, with which I will be able to do many things, not least of which is cast Finale of Devastation, cast all the creatures on my deck, um, Finale using infinite not food chain mana, which I can definitely achieve using one of the Dockside loops, given that I have a Fimage in hand and can e-witness the existing Dockside, recast the Dockside, go infinite with Hemer Sabertooth mana, Finale of Devastation, etc. Yep, yeah, you got okay, it. Okay, yep. nice. Just play another game. Oh my god, Tyler, we <laughs> fucking get it. Food chain wins games. <laughs> Unfortunately, Yargo and Matani, I was stopped. I felt like by basically every stacks piece that game, but this deck is going to get stopped by those things all the time because this deck is weak to a lot. <laughs> like a true Solvala deck. Dealing yeah. with the commander is crippling. Croxa and Kornos also seems like it's a reasonable strategy. Nate just needed a little bit more mana that time to get there. Is it better than any other Mardu? Bad rising back? I don't know. Probably not. But this is a one card win con, so that's that's cool. Dali and Gitrog Monster actually put up a decent fight here, and I and although I didn't get to generate a ton of value and I didn't get to go for a Protean Hulk thing, I don't know. Maybe next time I will. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our one hundred dollar patrons. Baby Gemas. Baby Jeebus and Demon of Rosgreed. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at our merch store, playtowinmtg.com. Big thank you to Dragon Shield. Thank you so much for supporting the show. Make sure you check out the affiliate link down below to check out the Pan Dragon sleeves that I used in this show here today. You can follow us on social media at Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Should we talk about our $50 patrons? Let's go over the $50 patrons. Anthony Monglio, AJ Alawasabi, Stashes, Mutual Shepherd, Justin, Man So Low, Nikola Marikovic, Steven Schlichty, Big TP15, The Green Guy, Martin Jackson, Isaiah Berliski, Metal Plays Games, Quadri Honey, Jacob Depp, Michael Blue. Jan Wildfair. Thomas Bueno. Swappy McGee. Lauren Connell. David Nelson. Tormax.